Good morning. It's Dr. Phil, as you can see. And when I say good morning, I mean good early morning because I'm calling an audible here. It is very late in uh, Los Angeles and probably very early wherever you are in the morning. I had a podcast scheduled for today that would be there at the regular time. It was with Dr. Dina Mannion, a very respected colleague of mine, a clinical psychologist, and she and I were going to talk about how I would describe kind of a everybody gets a trophy generation that we seem to have that's at odds with what psychology teaches. And we've done that interview. I really enjoyed it. She is an amazing clinical psychologist, and I intended to have that podcast for you today, but I'm not going to. It's the wee hours of the morning in LA, and like you, I've been tracking this situation in the Ukraine. And as I've watched this unfold, it has really had an impact on me, as I know it has on all of you. Watching what's been happening, particularly in the last 24 hours, I thought, you know what? I'm calling an audible here. I'm not going to drop this podcast that I enjoyed so much with Dr. Dina Mannion because I've been getting bombarded by all of you with questions about what's going on in the Ukraine, questions about Vladimir Putin and just exactly what's making this guy tick. I've been tracking the media. I haven't been to the Ukraine, never been to the Ukraine, never been to Russia. I'm going to tell you straight up, I am not a politician. I am certainly not well versed in geopolitics in any way. But I have been studying the psychology of what's happening even on the global stage, just as I do on my stage here. And I have some things that I feel compelled to address as someone that really feels a strong relationship with you. And when I get such a palpable reaction from you folks about something that obviously means so much, then that has an impact on me. And I really mean that. I pay attention to what you guys say. I pay attention to what you think, what you feel, what you ask, the comments that you make. Now, I may not agree with all of them, and I don't substitute your judgment for my own. And I don't let people's feelings override facts. If I've got science that says something and it disagrees with, what your opinion is or what your facts are, then I stay with what I know to be empirical facts. But I do listen to you. You've been such a big part of this journey over the last 20 years, and I hope you continue to be. And what I endeavor to do is to tell things straight up. I mean, as I said, no politics, no filter. And as I watch the media and listen to it, I feel like, you know, what am I getting here? Am I, am I getting sold a car or am I getting information? And if there's one thing you know about me by now, it should be, I'm going to tell you the truth as I see it. Now, you may not agree, and if things I tell you don't withstand challenge, then for God's sakes, hit the eject button and throw them out. But you guys have had some very important questions. And I've really been bombarded, and I've been really humbled by your wanting to know what's been going on here. I've been getting them from all sources. It's been all over Twitter. I've had people calling me. I've even had family members calling me. And I want to address some of those things. So I'm not going to have this podcast up now. We usually drop it. Laferne puts it up at midnight, so it's there when you wake up in the morning. And it's going to be a few hours late today because I'm actually going to do this entire podcast live as soon as I get to the studio here in just a few hours. So it's going to be a few hours late. And I'm going to address some of these because I want to tell you why this whole situation matters to you and matters to your family, whether you live in New York, L.A., Dallas, Omaha, Boise, Atlanta, Oklahoma City. Fargo, anywhere, why it does matter to you. And trust me, it does. 
it matters to all of us. You've probably been reading a lot of the same things that I have, and I'm going to address two major questions. Question number one that I'm going to answer is, is Putin really a psychotic, power-hungry, evil maniac? I'm going to answer that question. I'm not going to diagnose him, but I am going to do some things that are going to give you, I think, some very interesting insights into this person. I've been working with some real professionals, some with military backgrounds and some that do nothing but work on understanding exactly why people like this do what they do and don't do what they don't do. And I think you're going to get some insights into this that you haven't been able to get anywhere else. And number two, I'm going to answer the question, do I think that the Ukraine is getting so much attention because of implicit bias? There's been a lot of criticism of the media saying that this is getting all of this attention because these are blonde-haired, blue-eyed Europeans and they wouldn't be getting this attention if that wasn't the case. And I'm going to address that, and I'm going to tell you the truth about it, and you might be surprised at what I'm going to say and why I'm going to say it. And we're going to dig into both of those questions. We're going to look at the facts, and you're going to understand what the situation is, at least from my point of view. So it's going to be just a few hours. I'm going to get a little bit of sleep. I don't think very much. And then I'm going to head into the podcast studio. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to give you a download on all of this. And that's going to be the podcast for this week. And I hope Dr. Mannion will bear with us because I just felt like this was urgently relevant because I've been getting this onslaught of questions from you guys. Now, another question is why my camera is going in and out and in and out. And I have no idea. Uh, but it's the middle of the night, so I'm not going to question that. I hope you'll uh, not get seasick. Tune back in probably 10 o'clock on West Coast, be 12, 1 o'clock on the East Coast. Come back, and I'm going to address these questions in a meaningful way. And when your kids say, hey, Mom, why does this matter to us? Dad, why do we care about this? And by the way, I drove past a gas station in L.A. today, and it was $7.50 a gallon. So where the hell is all this headed? We're going to talk all about that and more on this podcast. It's just going to be a couple hours late. Thanks for all your support. I'll be back to you in a few hours.